In this video, we are going to make this bird-inspired bird feeder out of a milk garden. It's a great project to welcome home the songbirds to your garden or backyard. Let's get started by reviewing the supplies and tools we'll need. A milk carton, triangle, fine tip permanent marker, circle template, craft knife, paper towels, paint, paint brushes, paper plates, popsicle sticks, cotton cord, scissors, pliers, googly eyes, and glue. Step one, wash out carton. Wash out your favorite milk carton with some soap and water. Then prop it up to dry so that all the water drains out. Step two, draw a door, beak, and wings. Lay the carton flat on your desk with the cap side facing down. Measure and mark guides at two inch, four and a quarter inch, five and a quarter inch, and six and a quarter inch. Then rotate and draw lines across at your measure points. Next measure in three quarters of an inch from each side and outline a rectangle. Take your circle template and draw a little arch over the rectangle to create a door. If you don't have a circle template, try using a cup. Then find the center point of the two top guides and draw a connecting line. Measure three quarters of an inch in in each direction on top to create an upside down triangle for the beak. Finally, Flip the carton to one side and draw guides at 2 inch and 5 inch. Measure in 3 quarters of an inch in from each side and create a triangle. Then freehand a curve to smooth out the wing. Repeat on the other side. Step three, cut out. Using a craft knife, cut out the main door of the feeder. If there's any residual water inside, wipe it out with a paper towel. Next, cut out the beak, but remember to not cut the top section. You wanna gently lift and fold the beak so that it sticks out at an angle. Repeat the same process with both wings. Step four, paint. Next, paint your carton whatever color you want. I'm using a bright blue along with yellow for a beak. In order to cover all the text and images on the carton, you will definitely need to do several coats. So be patient and allow some time for it to dry in between. Note that I'm also using outdoor paint to ensure that my bird doesn't chip or fade in the rain or other inclement weather. You could also try using regular acrylic paint and a sealer coat as well. Step five, add popsicle stick feet. When the paint is completely dry and no longer tacky, take a popsicle stick and mark the locations of your feet. Flip to the other side and do the same, making sure that the front and back are exactly opposite of each other. Then cut little slits between your marks. Before pushing the sticks all the way through, I like to do a little test push to loosen them up. I also like to keep most of the popsicle stick in the front so that it can be a little ledge for the birds to rest. Poking some of it out the back will keep them stiff and in place. Then paint. Step six, add cord. To hang our bird, we'll want to add a thick and durable cord. How much you need depends on where it will be hung. I would go longer for now and trim as needed. 
So take your craft knife again and cut a slit on either side of the carton and feed in the cord. You can use the tip of your knife to help push it in. Then take a pair of pliers and grab the cord to pull it down. When both sides are in, tie a double knot and then pull the cord tight so that the knot stays centered at the top of the carton. Step 7. Add Googly Eyes Finally, add some glue for your googly eyes, but remember to not add too much so it doesn't squish out the sides. Pressurize in firmly and let them dry. And that's how you make a birdie bird feeder. Fill it up with some yummy seeds, oats, and raisins. If you have an Instagram or Twitter, please send me pics of your creations. I'd love to see your work.